Hi everybody, it's Malik again on his channel. How to expand the C drive if there is little space left on it, and also how to increase the size of the C drive without losing data. This video is made on a computer with Windows 11, but all my steps for you will be exactly the same in both Windows 10, Windows 8 and in Windows 7, and also this video is made for those who have already tried to expand the drive, but found that there is a small system partition between drive C and D and it is because of this problem that you were unable to expand drive C. Today I will show you how to solve this problem too. So, I open this PC. And here we see two disks, disk C, and disk D, and they are located on the same physical disk. The C drive currently has too much data, its memory is full, and that is why it is colored red. The D drive contains my photos, videos, and other personal files, and there is enough free space there to transfer some of that space to the C drive. But if your C disk and D drive are on different physical disks, then my video will not help you increase the size of C drive and you will have to solve this problem in another way. Since my C and D drives are on the same physical drive, now I will use the excellent free version of EaseUS Partition Master to increase space on C drive, this program will easily and simply solve all the problems of expanding C drive. It is not difficult to do this at all, follow me, repeat all the steps from the video, and you will succeed too. Stage number 1. Open the description of this video, and click the link to the app download page. On this website you can learn more about the many capabilities of this program, because expanding the C drive is only one of several very useful functions of EaseUS Partition Master. Later, you can read more carefully and get the information you need, and we will return to downloading the program. To download EaseUS Partition Master, click, here. In this window, enter your email address. Now click, here. If you want to get a fully functional version of the program, then in this window when making a purchase you can get some discount. To expand your C drive, just download the free version, click, download. The installation file has downloaded to your computer and you can close the browser. Press, install. Stage number 2. The installation is complete and I launched the program. In the program window we see my C drive, and it is red, next to the C drive is the D drive. Due to a certain Windows configuration, sometimes there is a small system partition between the C drive and the D drive, and this may prevent you from expanding the C drive. You can see how to solve this problem in the last part of this video, in stage number 3. So, to expand drive C, right-click on drive D and select, Resize. Then click on this place on the left, and while holding the mouse button, drag to the right as much as you want to allocate space for the C drive. Click, OK. Here we see that unallocated space has formed between drive C and D, and for this change to take effect, click, here. Apply. The process is complete, we have separated some part of it from drive D and now we need to attach this part of the space to drive C. To do this, right-click on drive C and select, Resize. In this window, you need to click, here, and while holding, drag to the right all the way. Now we see that drive C has increased and there is no more red color. Click, OK. To complete the transaction, click, here. Press, Apply. The process is complete, the program can be closed. Let's open this PC and see what the result is. Yes, the C drive has grown larger and is no longer red. Now let's see if everything is okay with my files on drive D. Yes, and everything is fine here too, EaseUS Partition Master did a great job. Stage number 3. Due to a certain Windows configuration, 
Sometimes there is a small system partition between the C drive and the D drive, and this may prevent you from expanding the C drive. Let's see how we can solve this problem. First we need to shrink the D drive a little. To do this, right-click on the D drive and select, Resize. Then click on this space on the left and, while holding the mouse button, drag to the right as far as you want to allocate space for the C drive. Click, OK. Here we see that there is unallocated space between drive C and D, and for this change to take effect, click, here. Click, Apply. To continue running the program, the computer must be restarted. Click, Yes. The computer has rebooted and the program will continue to work outside the operating system. The process completed successfully and now my Windows 11 is loading. I run the program again. Right click on Drive C and select Resize. In this window, click on this place on the right and, while holding the mouse button, drag to the right all the way. Here we see that Drive C has become larger and is no longer red, but a message appears below that the free version of EaseUS Partition Master does not support expanding Drive C if there is an obstacle in the form of a small system partition. And in order to do this, you need to switch to the paid version of the program. This may upset you, but do not forget that when you purchase the paid version of the program, many additional and very important functions of this program will be open to you. And so, I click, Upgrade Now, and in this window you can find out in detail what features you can get in this version of the program. To pay for your purchase, click here, or go to the first page of the site, the link is in the video description, perhaps by clicking on the link you will receive a certain discount. When you pay for the purchase, you will receive a license key and to activate the paid version you need to click, here, and in this window you need to enter your key. Press, Activate. My license has been successfully activated and I can now continue the process. I right-click on Drive C and select, Resize. Here you need to hold down the button and pull to the right all the way, press, OK. Click, here. Apply. Yes, the process has completed successfully. I open this PC, and here we see that Drive C is no longer red, because I successfully increased its volume. I open Drive D, and we also see all my files without changes. My video review has come to an end, and I hope that this process of expanding the C drive was also successful for you. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Bye bye everyone.